Hey everyone, I'm Lauren from Ohio Power Tool and today I'm here with Jeff from Hogan and he is going to talk to us about some of their major mag drills they've got. The HMD 900 is this, this guy right here. It is our more economical priced mag drill that we have. It is designed for those folks that aren't doing a ton of drilling. Doesn't have all the bells and whistles as the 904. This one doesn't have the black powder coating. It doesn't have the light and the magnet, but it still has the same powerful motor. In terms of functionality and like the actual specifics of the tools, yes. are those pretty similar? They are very similar. It's the same depth of cut, it's two inch depth of cut, one and a half inch diameter on the holes, same as the 904. It's a 450 variable. RPM motor, same motor. Um, so the, the main difference is being in the little features that, that we put into the drill. Okay, so this is the 904, but there's also a 904 SC. Yes. Can you tell us what the difference is there? The 904 S is a swivel base. Okay. So there is an additional plate that is put in between the magnet and the base of the mag drill and that allows a, a customer to magnetize vertically or over their head and be able to move the drill to dial in exactly where their hole needs to be. Okay. The, the drill will move out an inch and three eighths and side to side an inch and five eighths. The C part of that is a coolant bottle. Okay. All of our coolant bottles are gravity feed. Okay. So they only work on a flat surface. All right, so it kind of seems to go up in features, 900, 904, 904 SC, and then there's the 905. Correct. So what's unique about the 905? The 905 is a bigger drill and it becomes a two-speed motor. The 904 is an inch and a half diameter by two inch deep. The 905 is a two inch diameter by two inch deep. Okay. Once you get into those bigger style holes, mm -hmm. you really should torque down the motor or, right. or the speed of the motor. So it's a 250 RPM and a 450 RPM. Okay. Higher speeds for smaller holes, lower speeds for the bigger holes. Are there any other differences on the 905? Actually, it does have its own coolant bottle already built in. Okay. So there's no option, so to speak, for that. It's just automatically there. Okay. So does it have a swivel base option for the 905? Yes, yes, there's a swivel base option on most of our drills. Okay. Obviously not with the 900 because mm -hmm. that one's our, our stripped down version. I hear there's a 920. <laughs> yes. That's a big jump. The 920, it is kind of a big jump. It's a, <laughs> it's a much bigger capacity. It'll actually do three inch depth. Okay. And up to two and three eighths diameter. Okay. Um, so depending on what a customer is doing, whether they're stacking plates mm -hmm. or they're just dealing with thicker type materials for heavier type jobs, that machine, again, it's a two-speed motor. It's right. got the, the built-in coolant bottle, has the ability to do the swivel base. The drill chuck is a larger drill chuck because you're going to be using bigger uh, core bits and things of that nature. Um, so it's just a bigger capacity. All right, so this is the 130. Yes, this is the nice compact HMD 130. The thing you will notice is it's the same motor that's on the 904. Um, so this is our compact model. I wanted to show it side by side because this one is less than seven inches tall. It actually will fit behind tandem wheels on a truck frame. So a customer doesn't actually have to remove the wheels, drill a hole and put the wheels back on. That's about a 40 minutes time savings. Okay. So that and the fact that the handle is reversible to the other side, it gets into tight spots because it's very narrow. And again, it has all the uh, safety features with the foot on the bottom of it. So it's not, if it does break loose mm -hmm. in any way, shape or form, it's going to shut the motor off for safety purposes. So it drills just like this. Yes. Wow. It's a 90 degree, it's got its own patented cutters, but it's quick change. So you just line up uh, the flat with the arbor, mm -hmm. push it in there, twist it, and you're good to go. There's okay. no tools required for it. Does or does not swivel? This one does not. does not. No, with it being so compact for that specific industry, right. this one will do one inch depth and one in, up to one and three eighths diameter mm -hmm. holes. And the cutters come automatically as a stack cut geometry because truck frames are usually two, three, pieces of steel that are tack welded together. Stack cut allows that cutter to go through both pieces without having to back out, clear a slug, and continue through the hole. It does still have the light in the magnet as well for low light situations. Okay. A lot of the times if you're behind wheels, right, yeah. you're not, Those you don't have Those tight spaces the, are going to be darker. Right, yeah. right. So these, this is just a dumb question. They magnetize, right? Yes. The magnet strength wow. has been increased over the years to be able to do a really strong magnification. 
The other nice thing about our magnets is that when you first turn the power on or the magnet on, mm -hmm. that strength of that magnet is only at two thirds. The reason they do that is if somebody's in a shop and they turn the magnet on and the brake goes off or the lunch bell goes off and they turn around and walk away from it, there's no heat being generated within the magnet, which is what breaks down magnets. Okay. So as soon as they turn the motor on and the spindle starts to spin, then it goes to full power. Got it. So it's kind of a two-step yes. turn on yes. process for two safety. Two-stage magnet, yes. All right. These have a few different accessories. Can yes. you kind of give us a rundown of what they all are? And We've kind of made it very easy to exchange the arbor system here. So there's a set screw or two up here that you remove and remove these two bolts. So this whole assembly will come off. Then you can do an attachment with the drill chuck. So you can use your own smaller drill items that you have, maybe carbide tipped or something mm -hmm. like that for quarter inch holes. Um, we have a tapping attachment that will do tapping of the holes if, you're, if you've got that kind of an operation where you need to do those things. We've got pipe attachments so that you can present a flat surface to the drill so that you can magnetize while you're drilling into pipe. Okay. So there are a number of different things that we can do. Again, we, we're trying to make this a, a little machine shop. You're able to do that on the 900 as well? All of uh, those, the 900 or? has the drill chuck, okay. but not necessarily the um, tapping attachments. It, you can use the pipe adapter with it as well. Okay. But this, the 904 is the one. So again, that really, just that next step up. Yep. And then it applies to the 905 as well. Exactly. You can do all of those. Yep. Great. And once you, as you step up the 920, you can do that with as well. Okay, well, thank you, Jeff, for Absolutely. going over all of these with us. I know we took a look at quite a few of them today. So if you guys have any more questions, let us know in the comments below. We'll have everything linked, and we'll see you next time. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. Do I introduce us? Okay.